Indeed, Jesus was dead. We were overcome with not just grief, but despair. He was placed in a borrowed tomb, and as it was sealed, we believed that everything that we had hoped for had vanished. I believe Isaiah said it best. He said it 700 years earlier. He was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shear is silent, so he opened not his mouth. Indeed, Jesus was dead. But, remember how I told you the tomb was borrowed? Significant, because he wouldn't need it for long. This was Friday. But hallelujah, Sunday was coming! in sleeplessness and rose at every sound half in hopeless sorrow and half in fear the day would find the soldiers breaking through to drag us all away and just before the sunrise I heard something at the wall a gate began to rattle and a voice began to call. I hurried to the window and looked down into the street, expecting swords and torches and the sound of soldiers' feet. There was no one there but Mary, so I went down the ladder in, and John stood there beside me as she told me where she'd been. Said they might have moved him in the night And now none of us knows where And now the stone's been rolled away And the body isn't there We both ran toward the garden John ran on ahead He found the stone an empty tomb Just the way that Mary said But the winding sheet they wrapped him in Was just an empty shell and how or where they taken him was more than I could tell. Well, something strange happened there, but what I didn't know. John believed a miracle, but I just turned to go. And circumstance and speculation could have lift me very high. I saw them crucify him, and then I saw Die. Now back inside the house again, the guilt and anguish came. Everything I had promised him just added to my shame. When at last it came to choices, I denied I knew his name. And even if he was alive, it wouldn't be the same. Strange and sweet 
perfume.